Hey there, what's up? Joey Passi, your head trainer for SS Soccer Academy. Today I'm going to show you uh, one of the beginner tricks, one of the first tricks you have to learn for kids. Okay, this is one of the starting points. This is one of the building points for all the other tricks. Okay, so remember, tricks are a really good thing to learn. Not like everyone else says, don't learn tricks. Tricks will improve your technique, your ball control, and your love of the game. So work on them as well, all right? Or get your kid to work on them. So this one is the simple stall on the foot. Okay, so it, it looks like this. The ball is on the ground roll it up and you stall the foot like that. Or, the ball's in your hand and you stall it from dropping from the air like so, and then you lift it up back into your hands like that, all right? It's one of the starting points because whenever you're resting, you bring it back to a stall, okay? So you're juggling, maybe you wanna rest, bring it to a stall, or a lot of tricks, a lot of the more advanced tricks come from a stall. So you're stalling it and then you lift it up to your neck, your head, or something else like that, okay? Also, it, it works on your balance and, and overall technique to learn how to stall the ball on your foot. Okay, so the, the first way you want to learn is not actually starting with the ball on the ground. You want to just have the ball in your hand and you want to learn how to actually simply balance it on your foot. Okay, so you're just going to put your ball in like that and you're going to balance it, foot off the ground, and you want to get to a point where you can move it around like so, boom, and not actually have the ball drop. So what people make the mistake with is they... Uh, they think it's balancing it. So they think the ball is literally just balancing on the end of their toe like so, and then the ball ends up falling off, okay? What it actually is doing is you, if you may have to work on your uh, ankle flexibility because what you're, trying to, what you're actually trying to do is you're lifting your toe back. So my toe is lifting it back where I'm, the ball is snug against my shin. Okay, so I can feel the ball on my shin. I'm pulling my toe back, so it's stuck in there, right? I have pretty good balance in there. The farther, the more flexibility you have in bringing your toe back, the snugger you can keep the ball against your shin. Okay, so if you have your shin, if you have shin pads on, and you have really thick shin pads and you have them too low, it's really hard to balance the ball there. That's why you won't see pros with massive shin guards that come all the way down. Okay, so the first thing is put the ball in like this, and you got to get it right in there and practice feeling it where you're pulling it back against your shin, and then moving around like that. You got to be able to get to that point first. Then the next progression is sole of your foot on the ball, you're going to drag it back and you're going to uh, stall it in your foot like that. Put it back down, boom, stall it in your foot like that. Put it back down, stall it in your foot like that. That's the second progression. Okay, so, and it just takes repetition of what I showed you. Start up by putting the ball in your foot with your hands, put it on the ground, lift it up like so, and stall it like that. And then the third progression, of course, is uh, out of the air. So you're going to lift it up like that, boom install it out of the air, put it back into your hands, drop it, do the same thing, over. Remember, you're trying to bring your toe back, so it's stalling in your foot. Practice those three progressions. Don't go to the next one until you've mastered the previous step. When you're dropping the ball out of the air, the key is you lift your foot up, so the ball is dropping, you lift your foot up to meet it, so that you actually have room to bring your foot down and cushion as it's coming. If you just lift your foot up like this, it's just gonna bounce off, right? You have to be dropping the foot like that and then adjust and bring it in, okay? Practice those three progressions. Learn to uh, balance the, the ball on your foot because that's a starting point for tricks. Get your kid to learn that because that's a good starting point before they learn how to juggle the ball, all right? Uh, like the video, make sure you subscribe so you can keep on getting future content. Hit the link up here, it'll take you to a new site you're going to put your email address in and I will personally email you a free new drill to really take your kids game to the next level. If you're on mobile that same link is down below in the description area. Hit that link and it'll take you to the same site. I'll see you in the next video.